Hello, this is Mihai coming with a new video to show you one of the many things you can do with DNN Sharp products. Today I will show you how to sell tickets for an event, uh, how to create documents, PDF documents exactly, with the tickets, how to also include a barcode for each ticket, and to send all the tickets as one single email for your client. Let me show you how it works. I've made a simple page with just an email address where to send the tickets and a multiple choice with drop down to select the number of tickets. I will just select three tickets for now and will press the buy button. Now the tickets are being generated. For each ticket, we generate one barcode. As you can see, I've displayed a message. You've paid $30 for three tickets, which were emailed to your email address. Now, let's see my inbox. Uh, here's the email, one email with the three tickets attached. Now, the email doesn't have a content, but I'll show you one of the tickets to see how they look. This is ticket number nine. With a barcode. And all three tickets look almost the same except the ticket number. Ticket number 10 and ticket number 11. Of course, if we place another order, you will see that another email will be sent and the ticket numbers will differ. Let's try that again. Four tickets this time. Here it comes. Four tickets, all in the same email. Ticket 12, 13, 14, and 15. The same layout, the only difference being the ticket number. Now let me show you how it was built. It's a simple action form and of course the barcode generator add-on. I have a static text field to show you the title, an email field type which has an initial value of the, uh, my email address and a multiple choice with drop down called tickets which has a data source of items and will show the user one, two, three or four tickets with the price for every ticket pack for tickets costing $40. I've placed an initially selection of one ticket. Now the functionality. On the buy button I've skipped the payment process but uh, the steps to create the tickets and to email them to the customer will be the same just that it, they won't be placed directly on the button they will be placed uh, under the payment action on the button. On the button, the actions are as follows. Load entities from SQL. Create an entity with X number of elements based on how many tickets the user selected. We're doing this in order to be able to repeat the generation of each ticket a number of times corresponding to the number of tickets selected. It's a fake SQL select query that will generate an entity. This is the query. I will leave it somewhere in the comments for you to have it. This will just create an entity like this based on number of tickets selected. In my case maximum four elements because I can select only four tickets. Going past this, once I have my entity I will execute actions on the entity list. So this means for each ticket number, for each ticket that my user selected, I will do the following actions. Get the next available ticket number which in my case I'm retrieving it from a tickets table. 
I'm making an insert in that uh, table with the first name, last name, and the transaction ID. Of course, you can use many other fields and select scope identity to retrieve the last inserted ID. That's my ticket number. Of course, you can choose GUIDs and anything you can think of as a ticket number. I'm storing that ID in a token called ticket number. Then once I have the ticket number, the next available ticket number, I will generate the barcode for that ticket number and my barcode has ticket and ticket number with an encoding of code 93, a barcode image width and image height. I'm going to save this barcode on the disk and save the URL into this token code. Then I will generate the PDF, the document for ticket number one. I have here some HTML code for the ticket. Inside the code, I'm using the ticket number as text and an image with the source being the token from the generated image. This PDF file will have a name ticket and ticket number. It will also be saved on the disk and I'm saving the link to this PDF file in ticket link. Now, after I've generated the first ticket, I need to do something to save it somewhere along with the other ones in order to attach all of them to one single email. So, I'm creating a temporary token called attachment that will include the old value of the attachment which is empty at this point a comma and the next file which is the current ticket repeating this many times will result in having ticket 1 comma ticket 2 comma ticket 3 comma this will allow you to send the attachment as being the only attachment for the email address sent to the user now, this will be executed for all tickets. At the end, you will have the attachment token, which will be placed on a send email action. Send email to your customer with some fancy text you want to use in here and attach from token. This is the token with the attachment which includes the URLs to all the tickets generated. And then display a nice message to inform the customer that the transaction was successful. For this message I've used display toast message because you can set it to display in the center of the screen with various colors. With transitions you can set the duration. I've set it to 4 seconds but you can use it with 7 seconds if you want or even more and as I previously said to select where you want it to be placed top right corner, bottom left, I've selected to be placed in the middle of the screen. Now you know how to generate PDF files with barcodes in them and to attach multiple files to one single email. Have fun, see you next time.